How do? Back again. Caught me on one of my drinking nights. But my drinking keeps me thinking. Ought to be a joke in there somewhere, you know, drinking, thinking, thinking, drinking, thinking. I don't know, stuff. I don't know. I'll work on that later. Driving in the winter time. You know what I'm talking about, you know. Uh, uh, snowlands, icy, snowy, people out there going, oh shit, because they're running into everybody because they don't know how to drive on it. When it comes to driving laws in wintertime, there should be a, a federal, you know, uniform law nationwide, you know, Alaska especially. Uh, not so much Hawaii, but, <laughs> you know, definitely Alaska. <coughs> that any time a blanket or greater amount of snow hits a certain area, that the people of that area, before they're allowed to drive on the road, okay, should be required to, you know, go to the closest parking lot, you know, that large parking lot, uh, you know, your local grocery store parking lot, be big enough. Uh, you know, and them driving their car at that time to that lot would be the only time they would be allowed to drive that car or truck or vehicle one, until they receive their little hazard driving permit or their snow permit or whatever. They need to go to that parking lot and go through a course set up on that parking lot by the local police or whoever. And if they pass that course, then they're issued a snow permit, which means if there's snow on the ground, they're driving a car, they got to have that snow permit. But they know what their limitations are. You may know your car, but you may not know it in snow. You could go down the road and go, cool, no problem, not even be thinking, talking on a phone, uh, talking to your passenger, whatever, and not slow down enough for the road conditions. And yes, this turn you make at 30 miles an hour normally, so you're doing 20 now, safe enough. But there's snow on the ground, which means you can't take that curve more than 5 miles an hour. Because if you're going to turn, it's going to go sideways, now you're taking out both lanes of traffic. And then you get the snow permit. Bennigan. Glass from a now defunct company. Good company. Restaurant. Great food. Good beer. One of my haunts. And I drove there in the snow too. The only accident I have ever had in the snow was due to someone else's fault when they lost control and ran into me. And I maintained control after the impact enough not to hit anyone else. Learn to drive in the snow before you drive in the snow. And if you're not from Arkansas and grew up here, I don't care how long you've been here, you don't know how to drive in this crap. You could have grew up in Alaska, the Adirondacks of Canada, driving up there. But down here, it's a whole different kind of snow. Be cool.